Hello! I just lost the most pathetic game in chess history. Let's try and get some revenge against this jerk. <laughs> um, unfortunately, he's pretty good, so I can't just win easily. Because he's some grandmaster. Oh, Edgerstein, he's a soccer player. I'm going to school him, alright? He was a he played for the soccer the Norwegian national team at some point. In soccer. Uh it's castle, whatever. Uh H six or C five, I can't remember. Uh, I'll do this. I can play this move. Alright, um Rook C one's a good good a pretty good move. Most people don't do it. Now I gotta remember what to do here. I used to have some analysis, but I don't remember any of it. So I'll just develop my pieces. Uh, I feel like I would go e5 at some point. Let's start with this. Can I take and go e5? Eh, sure, why not? <laughs> Open up my bishop a little bit. At some point I'm going to take his knight on c3. Because I don't want it coming into knight, knight d5 or something. The issue I got is this pin on my knight. It's like kind of hard to to deal with. Um, I guess I'm going to take. He's going to take with the pawn or what? I got this pin. It's just such a pain in the ass. I think this is why I didn't like this line actually. Um, well, I'm going to pin him. <laughs> Screw it. I mean, this is why I, I like the line. I just don't like um, maybe this way of playing it. I'm going to go here and hope that g4 is nothing too scary. You can go g4 and put my bishop back on g6. i got to get out of this stupid pinning situation. Um, not, so easy, not so easy. I could have put my knight on d7 a long time ago and, and not had to deal with this crap. I can go g5, maybe, next move. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I'm threatening g5 right now. And if he moves the bishop white e4, so I would trap a piece, or fork his pieces. So he has to be a little careful, but he'll find some good move, because he's, he's a good player. And then I'll figure out what to do. Uh, what kind of good move will he play? I don't know. Like, maybe just g4. But then bishop g6, he's opened up his king a little bit. You know, I got some, some counterplay there. It's getting low on time, that's good. If he moves his queen to c2, then I can... Okay, he did this. I'm just going to move the bishop back. I think he couldn't find a better move, basically. Um, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of tempted to sack some material here. I'm going to think... I'm thinking about e4. And if pawn takes knight, pawn takes bishop? No, that loses everything. Uh, if knight h5, pawn takes pawn e4. I'm sorry, I have to move my queen first. Queen d7. I don't know, I just have a feeling that like sacking all these pieces might be good for me. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> uh, it's a little risky, but if this king's a little open, let's just go for the attack. So I have ideas, queen h3, knight f4, and crush. And, I don't know, it just, it just seems like I have some play. Uh, maybe I'm overly ambitious here. Maybe it's not that good, but... I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm thinking, what if he takes my pawn on g7? Do I recapture or do I go rook e8? I probably was going to recapture. I see no reason not to. Uh, with the king, I could even put the rook on h8 in some some lines. I mean, I got to square a knight f4 for my knight. See, I forced him. I didn't force him, but I, I convinced him to play this g4 move, and now like this king's open. It's like not fun to deal with. And I'm threatening e4, I'm threatening queen h3, I'm threatening knight f4 in some positions. And he has a pawn to show for it, but I'd rather be me in this position. Um, this is uh, Carlson's coach. He coached Carlson for many of his younger younger years, and I think they're still very close friends. I don't know that they still have a coaching relationship, but they, you know, he had definitely something, I think, something to do with Carlson's success. Uh, but he's never faced a player like me before. <laughs> I like my position still. I'm just happy. I'm way up on the clock. I mean, I guess pawn takes, right? Whatever. Is he going to go knight g5? Probably. Okay, now what to do? 
Uh, he wants to get that e6 square. I'm probably going to go knight, is he knight of 4, queen g4. Well, I'm going to go knight of 4. I don't know what else to do. If queen g4, I can take, go knight e2, and at least win an exchange. So, that's something. I'm probably going to go knight h3 if he lets me, which would... Okay, I can win the exchange now. Queen takes queen, knight e2. And it looks really good to me. Um, because... Oh, he gets knight e6, though. Hmm, interesting. I still... Uh, it feels right. It feels good to me. Let's think. Do I have anything better? Like, like rook f5. Threatening rook g5. Winning a queen. Uh, this move will shock him. I don't think he'll be able to handle it with time pressure. <laughs> I, you know, this is risky, though. Cause, but I have rook h8 coming also. Like, I have all kinds of attacking ideas that are unpleasant to deal with. Rook g5 is a winning threat. Um, I missed it. Can't hang with my tactics. Because <laughs> uh, if queen takes rook, knight h3, and if bishop takes, knight h3. Oh, sorry, knight h3 and queen takes g4. Can't hang with the tactics, man! I win! Alright, that makes up for the last debacle that you guys had to witness. Uh, so, I don't have to play again right now. I can relax and enjoy myself for a moment. Uh, Alright, thank you all for watching this video. Wait, this is only six minutes long, this video? I gotta, play, I gotta look at this game again, because I think it was pretty awesome. The way I played. Um, because, what happened here? We had this situation where I'm in this pin, right? Like, I don't want him to take and have to take back with a pawn, but then I can't move my queen anywhere, I can't move this knight anywhere. It sucks. But I pinned him in return. And, okay, he went h3. And the question is, what does he do here? Like, now I'm threatening g5. If I did g5 earlier, maybe he would have went knight takes or something. He can't do that anymore. So I'm threatening g5 and then e4. And he has to figure out a way to deal with that. And it's not... The more I look at it, the, the less simple it is. Like, d5 is always a weak positional move. Because I go knight a5 and the c-pawn gets really weak. So he didn't quite know how to deal with it. So he went g4 and g5. And now, as soon as he opens up his king like this, the alarm bell should go off. I shouldn't just be, like, capturing on g5 and letting him get this pin again. Um, I should be doing, I think, what I did, which was knight h5. And even though he went to pawn, his king's now wide open. And I have, like, great attacking potential against it. Uh, I just took this. Knight g5, knight f4, queen g4. Now, I'm not sure rook f5 is the best move. I thought you should go king h1. And I thought it was like, a, maybe I'm just kind of going for cheapos. But I also thought rook h8 here looks really scary. But I'm not sure. What does the computer say? I mean, it looked like fun to me. Computer thinks I'm doing well, but like, the computer likes my position. Uh, although, the thing was, I, I thought this endgame should be good for me as well. 92, and let's say he goes, oh, if he goes here, rook h8. Huh. So let's assume he goes to g2. And then I take, uh, I'm not sure I have, I, I wasn't sure I was going to take, by the way. Ah, still rook h8. This looks strong. I, I should be winning here somehow. Because if I take his rook, he goes knight e6. I, I mean, you know, this is probably the correct way to go, technically. Oh, actually, he thinks it's close, though. What does he think happens after this? Bishop g3. So it thinks like he has real play here for the exchange. He has a pawn, and I guess, yeah, he has ideas like knight e4. So, alright, I mean, maybe I played the right... I think I played a good choice in time trouble, because I saw that trick, that little cheapo, and I thought there's a good chance you can miss a move like that. Because it's like, he can. it's defended by both pieces, but he can't take with either one. Let me see, though, what Houdini thinks here. Does he see a good move for white? Bishop g3. Oh, and then if rook g5, it's not checked. But bishop g3, first of all, it's like impossible move to find. <laughs> um, second of all, like... Okay, and he's threatening to take my knight. It's a hard move to find in time trouble. But yeah, it does look annoying. Because now he's threatening bishop takes knight. And it gets out of the rook h8 idea, and now this... 
he can take my queen with check. So he thinks white is better after that. So I'll probably I should have done the other one, but again, he had a minute left or something, a little more than a minute. I thought he might just blunder right away. And I was right. Yippee! Uh, see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.